Rock Eyes would like to welcome Michael Sunflower Dead. Hey, man, what's going on? What's going on, dude? Just uh, getting into New York City as we speak. Cool, cool. Have fun there, man. Uh, I've been listening to the um, the CD that came down in two, two, 2012, and, uh, you know, cool. Qu- Quite impressive. Uh, good production, uh, a lot of good songs, good mix. Um, you know, a couple ballads thrown in there or, or melodic songs or whatever we want to call them. Right. But, uh, you know, my particular favorite was um, uh, Make Me Drown. Um, nice. You know, I, I really like that song. And also, I like Denial, too. You know? So. Oh, cool. That's funny. A lot of people are saying that. And we rarely play that. So awesome. <laughs> that, that both of them songs really, really kick ass. And, uh, I mean, it, like you said, it, it, it got like, uh, you know, a little great flow there then some uh you know easy tunes and then like you mm-hmm. ended off with a you know a real heavy song and uh you know uh, i congratulate you on that um thank you cool cool now you're out with uh, uh power man 5000 uh tell me how that tour is going this tour is great thus power man and head and it's been phenomenal uh, we've done 18 shows and i would say 16 of them have been absolutely slam-packed with people, and, you know, I'm really shocked about that and very happy, so this tour's awesome. Cool, cool. How's the other bands treating each other? Great. The bands get along great. Everybody's very laid back, no drama, all good. Great cool. bunch of guys. Cool, cool. Is there anything that, that uh, your your particular band asks for, like on a tour rider or, or something special that you really want? Uh, no, no, we're pretty easy, you know, it's funny, we're probably the only band that actually needs a dressing room, and we rarely get one, because there's, you know, two co-headliners, because we got to put on all our stupid makeup, but, uh, you know, it would be nice one day to be out of a ladies' room and, and into a dressing room <laughs> to get ready, but, uh, no, we're pretty easy, man, we work around anyone, and, you know, we do whatever we got to do to keep the show going. Cool, cool. Now, now, how'd you come up with the, 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 the title, the, the band title, uh, Sunflower Dead? Uh, I live on Sunflower Avenue, and huh? it just was, I was writing a short story called The Sunflower Dead years ago, when we needed a band name, you know, a couple things were said about what you, what the guys wanted, they wanted to, a band name that expressed the beauty and the, and the ugliness of our music, you know, and, and they didn't want a typical metal band name, they didn't want the name to, you know, designate what kind of music we do, we, they wanted the music to make the name pop, so, uh, I kind of told him about Sunflower Dead. Everybody really loved it, and we kind of became the characters of my story, in a way, and that's how it started. Cool, cool. It, it, was that always a perception in your mind that uh, you wanted to wear uh, makeup and, and stuff like that, or, you know, how'd that come about? Not in the least, dude. I never in a million years thought I would wear makeup. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We just, it just, you know, we started, we got the band together and started writing songs, and as it grew and as the songs started coming out, we little by little realized what we wanted to do and uh, we were like well let's just do a full on show and entertain people not just be another band in jeans and t-shirts or whatever the style of the month is and uh, and uh, it just kind of grew from there and it's still growing actually you know we really over these the six tours we've done for this album we've really learned about who we are and you know how much fun we have on stage right. together and it's, it's really coming across Cool, cool. Now, now, do you feel like like the makeup will uh, evolve into something else, or are you just going to, you know, keep uh, what, you, what you're doing now? Yeah, I think it's going to evolve. I think we're always going to evolve. You know, I can't say where that's going to go, because there's no plan for that, but um, well, I mean, we'll kind of see. I know it's, it's always going to be there, though. It's always going to be part of the show, because that's really... really what we're trying to do. It is about people coming to see us, and forgetting about real life per se while we're playing you know i mean also we're not believing that we're you know a bunch of zombies or dead people it's, it's about fun right cool 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 um i heard you you know after the story you're going to be working on new material yes we already started back in the summer but we're going to really work hard when we get back maybe possibly do another tour maybe not we'll see what comes up but definitely the second record is going to be the, the, the majority of the focus when we're home this fall. Right, right. What do you guys do to, like, you know, you're on the road and stuff like that, to entertain yourself? Like, do, do you guys have any kind of competition or, or whatever? Uh, I mean, you know, I, I, I don't think we do anything when, when we're not playing besides driving and resting and, you know, handling our, our lives outside the band. So... It's a lot of driving and traveling, so there's not a lot of uh, 
I mean, if we get an off day, everybody likes to kind of do their thing and eat something good and relax. But I can't really say there's much. We, we save all our, uh, our fun and, and weirdness up for the, the show, and that's where we really let it go. Cool, cool. Well, what's your favorite thing off the dollar menu? <laughs> off the dollar menu? Probably the double cheeseburger. <laughs> yeah. 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 So if, if you guys got a little extra cash, where's your favorite place to stop? To eat? Uh, man, we'll, we'll, we'll ask around, um, we'll ask the people where someplace good to go is, like that really has the food of the area, and right. then we'll try and stop there. Cool, cool. So there's just different spots everywhere. You getting tired of pizza yet? Man, I rarely eat pizza because I got a thing, you know, the dairy's not good for me. So right. And I never, I never will be tired of pizza, dude. I'll eat a pizza for breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day. I'll never get tired of it. Wow. Give it to it. Very good, very good. So what's your ultimate goal? Uh, take over the world. Cool. Everybody says that. <laughs> yeah, but nobody means it. I mean, I legitimately mean it. Like, we want to be the biggest fan of the world. Cool, cool, cool. Well, man, congratulations. Looks like you're on your way. And uh, I, I actually love the CD. I really do. I, you know, I, I wish I got to hear it back in 2012 until it said two years later. But, I mean, uh, you know, at least I got to hear it. And it, it's, uh, hey, you know what? That's, that's why we're out working to raise awareness. I mean, things take time. It's funny. There's so much information out there. It's almost hard to get people to pay attention. But that's why we do what we do. And you do what you do. So it's all good. Cool, cool. Congratulations, man. Would you like to say anything to the fans out there? Just, uh, you know, hit us up on our social media, you know, on all the main sites. Y'all know what they are, and uh, we love our evil seeds, and we'll see you at a show. Thanks a lot, Michael, man. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.